What up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. <laughs> this is a uh, strange gameplay. I've never seen anybody play offense off of Hail Mary. So this gameplay is about this guy playing off of Hail Mary. And as usual, when you find a way to find a way to shut it down, they quit. They, you know, they come in and you know they quit. It's like didn't nobody wants to adjust. They got the little ways that they play, and that's what they right here. Says the guy in motion, and I'm thinking I'm giving them leverage to be able to manage my field. That's uh, Callahan I have out there, 94 speed, just to at least keep up with leverage, and it still can't keep up. And he's able to bomb it all the way upfield. So you know it's the cheese of Hill. So, you know. but I do have in my red zone. I figure I try to stop him in the red zone. He's gonna go hold no huddle. I'm gonna call a timeout. And look at this next play right here. Illegal touching, but there's no illegal touching in competitive play online. So you're able to, he's able to get away with this. Receiver on the far left runs out of bounds. He's out of bounds, and he comes back in and he catches the ball, and they give him a touchdown still. That's illegal touching. It shouldn't have been a touchdown, but whatever. All right, he gets he gets seven points, and he decides to go for two. Same play, no play action. Send everybody on the streak with him back in the end zone. Throw a high point pass. So he does it right here, back in the end zone, high point pass, knock it down. Alright, it's up six. Alright, it's on offense. We go on offense. Dumping down low in the heavy blitz. Alright, get a couple of yards. You know, let the cheese begin. You pick the best team on the freaking game and cheese on top of the best team. It's crazy. Like I mean, this is the end of Madden 19, so you know this is what we're supposed to expect when the game comes to an end. Hell with football is just you know everybody just cheeses. So I just play, man. I just play. I just play. Then again, like I said, when you find somebody that cheeses, a lot of times I try not to get mad. I find a way to figure out how to stop it in case I see it down the line. I can open. Oh, I've seen this before. I can find a way to stop it. So I don't even get mad. But although it is frustrating because you really look at this, look at this right here. I mean, come on, he dove like three yards to come knock the ball out of my hand, you know. But hey, you know, it's you know, this is online play, so this is what you're supposed to expect. It's just people just cheese all day. He's able to get a sack there on third down and uh, try to force it on fourth. Comes out in this formation. I can't believe Gabriel cannot get away from this guy on the left. That's I knew it. I'm setting up for him, and he still can't get away from this. So he's able to knock it down, turn the ball over on downs, gets the ball back, back to the hail mary play. So the reason why I'm showing this video, I'm going to show you like I eventually stop. Right now, I'm just trying to like all right, because I know there's a number 81. He's running a slant all across the field. He was not this time, but he runs the one out. But that's his other option. If I take Hill away, he runs that guy on a slant, and he's able to get me on the slant. I'm sending blitz because I'm trying to force him to throw early so he doesn't have enough time to throw the hill when it's just, once he sends him out of motion. So I'm trying to use the blitz, but it's like the blitz just not getting there. I'm just trying to use that as a way to like, hey, just, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not working. Ah, lucky I didn't get picked up there, but there goes the slam I'm talking about across the field. So that's his other option. So it makes it kind of difficult, but like I said, I'll show you what I did eventually. And once he knew that I found a way to stop it, you see what he, what he does. I'm just gonna keep running it. I'm just it's getting into my red zone slowly. So let's heal out again. And here's I made a mistake. I'm looking, I'm trying to make adjustments. I'm looking at the backfield too far, and then I forgot about Hill. Touch over my head. Another touchdown. All right, he's going for two-point conversion. Now remember the last play he ran back here at the two-point conversion. It's the play action, and same play. He just runs the play action and tries to hit the guys in the back of the end zone. So I see, I noticed it this time, so I just run out there for it. And give me those. All right, take those back. It's up 12. All right, I mean, you know, like I said, you run your plays so many times. You know, you have, if he has this play in his arsenal, like mix it up with other things. But to run it all game, it's like, I mean, eventually somebody's going to figure it out. So I'll, just, I'll show you what I did to figure it out. And then he's running this defense. He's able to pick me off. So everything's going his way. He's not pausing the game to quit the game yet. Everything's going his way. He's up 12. He's about to go up like, you know, three touchdowns on me. So let's go. 
I'm still trying to figure out how to stop this thing. Because I know Hill's going to feel. I got to worry about the guy coming across. <laughs> he does it again. He comes across. And completes another first down. All right. Well, it's 81 on the guy on the very, very far left. Somebody's coming across the field. So I'm trying to use this hook zones to stop the stuff across the field. And use the underneath the stuff when he runs 81 to the left. But I also got to worry about Hill coming over across the field. So, I mean, it's pretty tough. There goes across. See? You see how they build people out? And that's why I put those hard flats in there to take those to take that stuff away. All right. Doing it again. And the, the, the three hooks are supposed to follow somebody across the field, right? But they don't do it all the time. So you can get the slant across. There goes the player across the field. Just knock it down. All right, it seems to be kind of working for me a little bit. It's Benjamin on this way. It's a different one. So we got Hill in the tight end position. I don't even know how he does that, but oh well. That's Kelsey's position right there. How you get the guy in the tight end position? It's weird. It's weird. Right, it's whatever, man. Goes on the out. And down, or down in five, maybe. I'm just trying to make some variety here. I got worried about Hill going up upfield though. Start second quarter. <laughs> this is a good play right here. Because I'm playing hard flats on here, the running back Williams held my hard flats down low. He's able to hit a comeback over here on the, on the right side to Watkins. It's pretty good play. Good play. I don't mind when people beat me with just regular football logic. It just means that I gotta adjust, right? I just don't like when people come out here and they have the, that you know that setup where he runs hill over across the field, and that's almost like a, to me it's a glitch in the game because you know even if I have leverage on the guy and I know it's coming, I still can't stop those deep drags across the field. So it's just what it is. Look at there's no reaction right here. That's an interception, but no reaction. So he gets another touchdown. So now he's up what 20 or 19. He's gonna go up to uh, or 18. He's gonna go up for his uh, two-point conversion again, because I, you know, darted upfield to cover this guy. He's gonna run hill on a drag, and hit me on a drag from the position I just left. So hill comes across, hits hill. All right, he's up like 20 to zip. Well, guess who's still playing? This fellow over here. I'm still playing. I'm not getting mad. I'm just trying to figure this crap out. And like I said, all the advantage is going this way. Knock, knock ball loose. He's got to get blasted in the end zone. He doesn't drop the pass. I barely get tossed right there and you know he drops it. But look at the way he does on the right side. So you guys know where I'm going. So I'm gonna beat him on top. A quick touchdown. I right, here's the adjustments that I made. He's gonna come right here. He's trying to figure this thing out. Because he's just he's just gonna basically gonna run this Hill Mary thing all day. And I know is Hill all the way across the field. And I know there's a drag somewhere coming across the middle of the field. That's all I have to worry about. And I just hope the rush can get to the quarterback. Because he just wants Hill to go all the way across the field so he can, you know, blast Hill. So right now I'm still trying to I'm still trying to make an adjustment. I'm trying to put the yellow hook right in the middle for the drag to trying to cover this slide coming across the middle. Man up on the other side and he's trying to blitz on the far end. So let's go. Maybe get the blitz in there. So you can't, you can't, you're about to hit Hill again. Hill just beat the guy on top, as you saw. So that's what I, the dilemma I'm facing is. This slant across the middle of the field, and why we're still worried about Hill all the way across. I can only hope that they, that hook, but he throws it early this time, and mm, okay. all right, that's cool. We're still managing. We're still trying to figure this thing out. I'll figure it out eventually. Like Hill is a threat. Oh, he coming all the way across. That's the big threat. Because no matter what I do up there, he's still gonna beat that guy. If the you know if the sack doesn't get this, so I'm gonna out route because all the cushion I give him. All right, it's cool, man. And I'm going to switch over to a cover two. I was like, oh, yeah. I could have done this a long time ago. He's going to run an inside zone right here to get a first down. So I'm giving him cushion, and I'm playing hard flats because one back goes out, and maybe like underneath. 
drag some my run. See, I don't have any blue zones up the middle, so that's why I'm noticing here. So I'm just trying to run it as I'm blitzing. Hopefully the blitz can get there. Hopefully. See Hill up the middle. Be able to knock it down. So I noticed that he just did that, so I'm going to switch over to a different cover 2 play. Off of Nico over G. So I'm switching to it right now. And that's going to be that cover 2, contain cover 2. And I substituted a, a safety in, Bush, Dion Bush. I'm going to put him on the blue up the middle. And and I got to cover this, this uh, drag across the middle myself. So go ahead and run it again, see what happens. And just hope the four guys will get to him. Goes over there. Another lucky. See, everything's going his way, man. <laughs> it's like we're still going to play the same thing. Same bush up the middle. He to help cover a hill coming across the field. So that that's basically taken away. You can't run that anymore. You just have to worry about the underneath crap. So let's go. Just gotta worry about the drags. The slants. Take it a slant. Take it away. Take it away. There we go. Bring him down. Finally. It's not a fluke, my friend. We figured you out. We figured you out. Put, I'm just leave Bush up there because he's coming across, he's coming his way anyway. All I gotta do is just worry about the guy coming across the middle of the field. That's it. That is it. That is it. And then just let the rush do the rush. Four man rush. That's it. Basic four man rush. Basic four man rush. That's it. Third and 28. Now you see how he's, now he's panicking now. Because it's like, once you take his one play away, it's like, now you have to figure out how to get other plays. So, I've taken this play away now. The adjustment for him is to find another play, right? Nope. They'll just keep running over and over again. Just keep forcing it. You can't, you can't think, you can't think on, on the fly. Because if I, if I can get the ball here and I score here, it's 20 to 14, and I get the ball at half. That's what he's realizing. And it's like, you know, the game is in out, of, out of reach still. I just got to just stop him right here to get the ball and score. That's it. Knock it down. Fourth down and 28. And fourth down and 28. You guys know what's coming on the kind of blitz I'm bringing. Seven man blitz. Seven man blitz. Yep. Somebody's going to be free. He's not going to have enough time to throw that pass. If Hill, is, if Hill goes out, he's not going to have enough time. There goes the free rusher. Turtle Brown downs. And you guys already know what's coming. You already know what's coming. Because he doesn't have any more plays. That's it. <laughs> Man, this stuff is ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. It's annoying as hell. All right, guys. If you got any questions, hit me in the comment section. And until next time, fellas, I'll holla at you dudes later. All right, Dad. One.